Okay, so I have a little grocery haul. So I think what I'm gonna try to do is like, I don't wanna buy like tons of food at once. And I also don't want to physically go to the grocery store. And I just don't think I'm strong enough right now. Walking anywhere is hard for me. Uh, getting up off my bed and walking to the bathroom, I'm like, <laughs> you know, in the grocery store, that's like a big in. That is, so hard for me and I don't expect anyone to understand crying whining little baby bitch acting out like an adolescent girl who whines on Twitter hey fuck up grow the fuck up you crying whining little baby bitch I'm like going to the grocery store and like walking past the candy aisle or the chip aisle or seeing something that I'm currently craving but there was a few things that I did need so I did get an instacart so I'm gonna be I think I'm gonna try to do like instacart and like the whole foods order I know the whole foods order was pretty big um so don't come for me okay because I I feel like oh and this big box um some stuff I have to send in the mail so don't mind that Look at that booty. I found you, Miss New Booty. We will fight. I will fight you. And, um, like, I have a crush on Eric. Did you just announce that wifey and you were gonna have a threesome with a dude? <laughs> Did I? Um, honestly, it's kind of hard. In a way, I feel kind of guilty. But I'm ready for the D. Oh, I can't wait to tell Eric about that. I've got a special surprise for your birthday, and I've, I've been told you like a big. Alrighty, so I'm hungry, so I'm gonna make me a little snack plate. First things first, I'm gonna have some cottage cheese. I am gonna have a couple uh, cocktail shrimp. I'm gonna have some green olives. I just dropped one on the floor, so let me get that. I'm gonna have some nuts. That's what she said. <laughs> Michael. Michael. <laughs> A little bit more. I have been obsessed with pineapple lately, so I'm also gonna have some watermelon. One more for good measure. Two slices of apple. Two carrot sticks. Three. So I'm just gonna have a few wasabi peas. This is so satisfying to me. I also want to say that I finished the flat share by Beth O'Leary, which is about or what I thought and what was explained is that it's this guy and then this one but this is i do not recommend this book um at all so this is the office remember her oh wow big yawn and if you guys remember before we had a chair here and then we had to move it for christmas and we put a tree up but i want to show you what feline did so here we have a j cole poster we have the weekend poster. She actually chose the weekend as, oh, hi, you see my fingers, <laughs> was for her because she did get this and we needed a spot for it. It's a record player and you guys, it is so freaking awesome. So that is the Adidas Lego that I got her for Christmas. She then under it is the sneaker book that I got her. Doesn't that look so cute? And then she already has so many vinyls. But two of them was a surprise for me. Plastic Hearts, Billie Eilish, Bruno Mars, some Michael Jackson, and just some like other random. Um, and then we have our little heater here. Okay, so this might be silly, so don't come for me, but it's what's been working for me. So I'm trying to drink 64 ounces of water a day. But some things that I have noticed today, I guess, is... I need to start drinking more water. And look how much I've already drank out of it. I am very proud of myself because I haven't been drinking water at all. I wanna talk about my water intake. I do try to drink two of these a day. Half of this is, um, this whole thing is half of a gallon. I have been drinking tons of water. I noticed for the rest of the night, 
I'll barely pee. That means I'm holding on to all this water. I'm not giving excuses, hey. While also trying to slowly drink less diet soda, I used to drink like no water and about four diet sodas a day. I drink diet soda on the daily. I actually drank like six a day and there were always different flavors and kinds and it never made me gain weight. But it's something that's been working for me. If I take a sip of drink, a soda, a sip of drink, that means I have to take a sip of water. Like, hey, sip, sip, sip. It's just been a lot more effort, but to get my water in, take a sip, take a sip. On top of doing my weekly weigh-ins, I also want to do monthly weigh-ins where every day on the first, I tell you guys how much I weigh and how much I lost that month. So I did weigh myself and I was 511.6. Just since Sunday, I'm down over four pounds. Your girl's doing it, okay? She's doing it. Yeah, I am down math, Amberlynn, math, 8.4 pounds because it's like I am fighting for my life. I am fighting to get weight loss surgery and I'm fighting to lose weight and I haven't been ordering takeout and it just feels, I don't know, it feels really good to be able to sit with that discomfort. So, hello, hello, Feline surprised me with the new Billie Eilish number two perfume and I really, really wanted to smell it. That's what it looks like to me. Oh my God, ah, so cute. Oh, okay. Ooh, it's different than the last one, which, give her a minute. Give her a second. This one, I could already tell, is more it's more potent. For her first one, it's more like vanilla, which is more rounded. It's weird. Letters have colors. Perfumes have freaking shapes. This one's more old lady, while the other one, which is a good thing. Someone's calling me. I've been told you like a big. Thank you so much, baby. Of course, baby. That's my collection. Okay guys, so I have a weight loss surgery update. So I was supposed to complete a dietitian course. So I have officially completed that course. Things that they want you to change and such. And one of them is write down all of your food. Um, you have to keep a food journal. Like I'm not counting calories, I'm not counting carbs, I'm not counting literally anything. And this has just been super helpful because it's like sometimes I do forget like what have I ate today? Like, like I just love learning. Like, a lot of things I already know about nutrition, like, even though I feel like everything they're gonna tell me is stuff I already know. And it's nice to hear and be validated on things that like you already know. And like, I know all this knowledge, I just don't put it into action. You no, know, sitting with discomfort is powerful, especially when you are able to be successful in that discomfort. As you guys know, I was like freaked out about the whole rapid weight loss because of my gallstones, but I don't care. There's surgery for that. I have insurance for that. I also honestly think it's because I stopped getting high. Losing weight is all about that discomfort because people fail at weight loss because they give in to their cravings and they overindulge and they eat too many calories, period. That and it's simple, say no. I'm always trying to see through your flaws Cause I know that you got so much more to give You made a real mess but I miss you though I can go to sleep when I'm alone again.